beautiful outside as we speak, but the weather is what everybody's talking about. It's our top story this morning. It is the looming danger out in the Atlantic. Tropical Storm Florence picking up steam and now appearing to head right for the Carolinas. Dylan is following this one closely. Dylan, good morning. Good morning. We are certainly going to have to keep a very close eye on this storm and basically the entire tropics. Look at how many active storms we have right now. Besides Florence, we also have Helene, which has just become a tropical storm, and we're watching Tropical Depression 9 as well. But let's get right to Florence. Right now it's a tropical storm, but it is forecast to intensify over the next 36 to 48 hours. In fact, it should be a hurricane. By the time we go into Tuesday, it could even be a major hurricane, uh, gaining strength up to perhaps a Category 3, even forecast to become a Category 4 storm. This whole area right in through here is our cone of uncertainty, meaning it could go north or south. But for right now, the track from the National Hurricane Center does have it on that path. But if you look at the uh, different models and how they're all sort of combining together, you can see that either way, it looks like the North or South Carolina coast could be dealing with a perhaps major hurricane by the time we get into the end of next week. So that's our variation for right now. So you really do have to prepare for a storm somewhere on the southeast coast of the United States. The steering mechanism is this huge area of high pressure. All it has to do is dive a little to the southwest, and that would steer it more towards South Carolina. If it lifts it a little bit to the northeast, it would steer it more towards North Carolina. So this is what will determine the track. It is still way too early to determine the exact track and the exact intensity but either way, the southeast coast should prepare for possibly a major hurricane by the end of next week. Chanel and Hallie. All right. To be continued, I guess. All Indeed. right. Dylan is here with another check of the forecast. And I'm going to focus now on the rain that we're seeing in the middle of the country. There's a stalled front and the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Gordon continuing to pump in some moisture. Heavy rain falling in St. Louis right now, also through southern Illinois, southern Indiana, and moving into Ohio, too. This is going to be the case throughout the day today. In fact, 50 million people are at risk for flash flooding today. We even have a flood warnings in effect across some of the rivers as the rain just continues to fall on already saturated ground. The heaviest of the rain will continue through the upper Midwest today. Then as we go into tomorrow, it'll slowly slide into Ohio. Heavy rain across Pittsburgh and most of western Pennsylvania. And then we'll see scattered showers through the mid-Atlantic. There's a bullseye in through here. Uh, east central Ohio and west central Pennsylvania where we could end up with six to eight inches or more of rain if you get stuck in those heavier downpours. So there's a high risk of flash flooding today through southern Illinois and southern Indiana. And then tomorrow that high risk does move into Ohio and west Western Pennsylvania. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. So Miriam Webster says new words are only added when they've been widely used and accepted in the English language and culture. I don't know. I think they're a little weird. They I'm, are a I'm lot never, of abbreviations. What's zoodle? And, zoodle, a zoodle. Zucchini noodle. Yeah, when, when you, you spiralize a zucchini. Oh, well, so that's it's like how pasta. you know I don't eat zoodles. Gluten, <laughs> gluten free pasta. So you're saying hangry's been around for years. Yeah. That's not a new right. word. I think it right? takes a while, though, for it to be part of the English language right. and yeah. daily use before it can be added. But can we be honest? But guac? Who hasn't guac been saying guac for their entire lives? Well, now it's just a short word for guacamole. Like, they are all abbreviations. All right, pop star? Okay. Let's start pop start with a little rap battle. A New York Fashion Week party turned feisty Friday night when two of the world's uh, world's leading ladies got into an all-out brawl. What, what a, a treat! Would have loved an invitation right? for that. But imagine right? all the people who were then delayed or you know. <laughs> oh, but get it's home Paul McCartney. Quickly. I know, but it's also New York City. <laughs> <laughs> That's all true. Right, thank you, Dylan. Just ahead, the sights, smells. Of Hallie, come back and visit us. I would love yeah, to. This was so, so much fun to be on the plaza. Kind Sorry, of it's such a short Woo! show today. I know. I know. The rain oh. stopped just for you. Beautiful. And that'll do it for us on this Saturday morning. Tomorrow on Sunday. Today, ah. Oh. The king of cool, Lenny Kravitz. Oh, I thought you were going to say Willie. No, well, I mean, he's cool, too. Willie's going to talk to him about his new album and why he often plays all of the instruments on his songs. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.